Hey guys, I'm out and about in the car, I've got Buddy next to me. Uh, the camera mount's not the best, so excuse the shaking. I just want to do a quick video on the importance of getting out there. Um, not adhering to the rules of the program, just living your life, not being pigeonholed or pressured into staying home where of course they're going to hit you with the weapons or even some of the electrical fields around your appliances I think they can they can sort of beef up that signal and that's quite dangerous too but um, yeah you got to get out there um, I'm quite reclusive myself or I, I used to be so it's it's, it's hard at times for me to get out, but you got to do it. Usually a good indicator for me is if I'm feeling really sick, like today I wasn't, this morning I wasn't feeling too good. I've just been for a two and a half hour drive. Um, yeah, didn't feel too good this morning. That's usually a good indicator that I've had a decent dose of something, whether it be radiation you know, some drugging or whatever. Getting out and uh, clearing the mind in the car, you know. They're, they're going to throw the colour coordination and sensitisation. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? It's, um... As long as you're defensive and you're, you're wary that they're going to set up accidents and all that sort of thing, I find the car to be almost therapeutic, you know. I know that they can um, put things in and, and amplify it in your car and, you know, there's satellites and I'm sure they, they, get to you, they get to you if they want you, but I'm getting in the car sort of clears my head. Um, mixing, it up, mixing it up's important too the roads that you drive on, where you go to, where you eat, where you drink, um, mix it up. Don't forget they're, they're part of a scripted program, they're robotic like, I won't even call them people, but um, if you mix it up, it makes it quite hard for them to pull all their scripted shit like today I've been taking some back roads and they've got no idea I've never been there before and they're not they're not prepared for it so they you know it takes it takes a while for them to get a brigade of cars in that way but I sort of did that just as just in as, as an experiment but um, you yeah, just don't be predictable don't forget that they're that they're scripted. You're you're still a free thinker. You're not. Um, you haven't totally succumbed to this fucked up, mind controlled, bloody, sadistic program. You are still free, and um, I'd rather be free than uh, dictated to. Another thing is, um, another way to look at it is, you're the centre of the world for these bludgers. You are, for a better term, their God. Everything evolves around you, so if you want to go for a drive at fucking three in the morning and make them do some work, get out of bed, do it. Do it. I went through a stage where I reversed my sleeping patterns because I was so bad anyway so I started bloody driving at night just just mix it up make them earn it make them uncomfortable and uh, yeah just just uh, don't be scared get out there get out there and show them because they hate it
get out there and show them that you're still you. Your, your humanity's still there. And you won't be, um... You won't be terrorised by these fucking two-bit fucking crooks. Alright, guys. That's the end of my rant. Till next time. Peace. See you, guys.